Um, who was that? Overrated Lex Luger and Ultimate Warrior. Underrated Barry Windham. Now, this really depends on what you deem in terms of overrated because – I, to me, I would take this. I would take this as like work rate, right? Because you can't say like Ultimate Warrior was overrated from a like he had like everything but the work rate, right? Um, Lex Luger, slightly you know better worker, was able to put on really? more. Class, I think than Warrior, wouldn't you think? I mean, he had more of a move set. He had he was able to have longer matches. Um, yes. I think there was more variety. You know, I was curious, though, uh, why did Luger never used the torture rack when he was with WWF, did he? Like, I know he was, like, narcissistic. He was the running forearm, wasn't he? Right, yeah, they built it as, like, he had the steel plates in his forearm and stuff, and he was, like, the narcissist, right. and went on to be, like, the all-American whatever yeah. – Lex, you know, Lex Express and all that stuff. Lex but like, Express. he never used the torture rack, did he? Like, in and that move was already really over from, you know, w, uh, WCW, NWA. Like, that that move is already over. So, like, it's, I was wondering, I was like, why did he never used the torture rack? Mm. Maybe he did, and I just don't remember, but I don't, right. I don't think he ever used the torture rack in WWF. Because I remember from the Royal Rumble video game, his, his finishing move was a running forearm where he boom and knocks the guy out. Yeah. And that was his, that was, yeah, he was, that was very, that got over. That was, you know, he knocked, and a guy, he was knocking people out with it. But I just, I was always curious why he never, why he didn't use the torture rack because it was already over. You know, maybe Vince didn't want to completely change every single thing about him. Maybe he, maybe he did want to change every single thing about him. Yeah, yeah, like everything. Yeah. Maybe because I think Vince was dead set on making him the next big star. Yeah, right. Yeah, gentlemen, it's official. Cafe to Renee Patreon is officially launched, and for as low as five dollars a month, you can make your wrestling watching experience more enjoyable. And in some case, enjoyable. Period. <laughs> so follow the link down below and we have different tiers for everyone and I'd like to thank everyone who has already joined up and signed up to our Patreon Cafe Dernay Patreon for as low as $5 a month you can watch all your weekly wrestling with myself Paul London and occasionally other special guests see you soon guys thank you